Are federal investigators properly tracking the threat of domestic terrorism? A new report highlights some disparities between data collected by the Department of Homeland Security and the non-governmental organization, the Anti-Defamation League. For example, the Anti-Defamation League found white supremacists carried out nine lethal attacks in 2020. The Department of Homeland Security and Federal Bureau of Investigations, however, reported there were none. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell takes an in-depth look at what the threat is and why this is so important. We have seen here in Metro Detroit how hate crimes impact lives. From vandalism and shots fired through this Black Lives Matter sign in the window of two Army veterans' home in Warren in 2020. We put the sign in there just to say we matter too. To bomb threats called into the Jewish Community Center in West Bloomfield this month. It's unnerving as a country, as a nation, and obviously as a Jew. And graffiti. You can see what's left of vandalism that was painted on a wall in Center Line where Graffiti left hateful messages. It leaves people who live in this neighborhood wondering if they were targeted, if they're victims of a hate crime. And this comes as there are concerns extremism is increasing. Michigan ADL Director Carolyn Normandin says her organization works to track hate crimes because you can't fight a problem you don't know exists. And this is a matter of life and death. We've seen the horrific tragedies around the country, from a neo-Nazi attack on worshipers at Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in South Carolina that claimed nine lives in 2015, to the Tree of Life Synagogue massacre that claimed 11 lives in Pittsburgh in 2018, to the 2019 mass shooting at an El Paso Walmart that claimed 23 lives. It's clear that most of the terrorist attacks we've seen in this country since 9-11 have been perpetrated uh, domestic by domestic individuals. U.S. Senator Gary Peters, as chairman of the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, released a new report this week on the rise of domestic terrorism. He says he believes federal investigators need to shift policy to recognize that white supremacists pose the primary threat to fellow Americans. Between 2010 and 2021, white supremacists carried out 51 out of 169 domestic terrorist attacks and plots, more than any other group, according to the Department of Homeland Security. But Peter says there's a problem. He says he's found that federal data on thousands of hate crimes is missing confirmable incidents. The FBI and, and Department of Homeland Security are not tracking all the incidents that occur. And actually, that number is a lot larger than what they are reporting. He's calling on DHS and the FBI to do a better job tracking hate. The FBI says a weakness is that it relies on local agencies to report hate crimes. My personal experience has been that the FBI takes these things exceptionally seriously. Normandon says while tracking processes may need improvements, the FBI fights hate. West Bloomfield Police Chief Michael Patton says his department has partnerships with the FBI and wants the public to also be part of the solution. If you see something, he says, say something. It's always important to know that there are men and women that on a 24 hour basis that are very dedicated, both in the local, county, state and federal realms that are always looking at these things. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Thank you, Kim. And you can read the full report on tracking domestic terrorism over on our webpage, WXYZ.com, and you'll find it right in Kim's story on the homepage.